why are stocks falling even though inflation continues to go down? Isn't lower inflation a good thing for stocks? Well, yes, but there's a bigger issue that people are concerned about that's causing the stock market to fall. So let me explain what's going on here, and then I gotta tell you two things you've gotta watch out for over the next few weeks. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Stock Curry. I'm a former Merrill Lynch and Morgan Stanley investment banker, and I've been trading for over 25 years. Let me show you what's going on with this inflation report, then let me show you the real reason why stocks are falling, as well as some things you gotta watch out for. Inflation extended its cooling streak and hit 2.5% in August. And while that is a significant decline and the lowest inflation we've seen in years, core inflation actually did not fall as much. And that is one of the bigger concerns that people are really looking at right now. It's core inflation that the Federal Reserve is really looking at. It's core inflation the Federal Reserve wants to get down to 2%. And with it stuck a little bit above 3%, the Federal Reserve has to keep interest rates higher in order to get that inflation down. And this is something the market really doesn't like. The market was hoping for a large 50 basis point rate cut at the FOMC meeting next week, and now that looks less likely. And so that's one reason why stocks are falling, but there's more reasons as well. The inflation report likely cemented a shift in focus by the Fed from inflation, which has receded from its 40-year highs, and towards a cooling labor market where softer hiring has sparked concerns about a broader deterioration in the economy, also known as a recession. Firmer shelter inflation that contributed to a somewhat stronger than anticipated core price increases in August will likely make it harder for officials to push for a larger half percentage point rate cut at next week's Fed meeting. The market repricing in a 25 basis point rate cut instead of a larger 50 basis point rate cut is one reason why the market is falling, but also people are starting to get concerned about the economy and a possible recession, which is another reason why stocks are falling. Unemployment is rising, which is a sure tail indicator of a recession, but it's also important to understand that the cost of living has not fallen. It's simply going up at a slower rate. Even a slower rate of inflation does not erase the rapid run-up in prices that has stretched household budgets and continues to be a strain on millions of Americans. Prices are still going up. They're just going up slower than they did in the past. And that's the important thing to understand. Americans are already strained. They're already having difficulty paying their bills and prices continue to go up. Investors will be closely scrutinizing the Fed's meeting next week, both for the size of the rate cut, which is widely expected to be 25 basis points, but more importantly, for Chair Jerome Powell's view about the health of the economy. If Jerome Powell says anything about the slowdown of the economy, or especially if he mentions the word recession at the FOMC meeting next week, we can expect a significant drop in the stock market. Investors are far more concerned about the slowing economy and possible recession than they are about inflation. Inflation has come down. It may not be down to 2% yet, but it has come down. And that is a big relief for investors. Now the new focus is how bad is the economy? And we will get Jerome Powell's viewpoint on that on Wednesday next week at the FOMC press conference. But there are other things that investors are now concerned about as well. And one of those is a possible government shutdown at the end of this month. The problem right now is that the federal government has not agreed upon a budget. They actually haven't agreed upon a budget in years. They're not even trying to agree upon a budget. All they're trying to do right now is pass a bill that allows them to maintain the budget that they've been operating off of. 
if they cannot pass a bill that agrees to continue the current budget in place, then the government will shut down on October 1st. And that is very bad for stocks because there's no more government spending, which means spending from consumers, especially government employees, which is the largest employer here in the United States, is going to go down significantly and stocks would go down significantly as well. And right now, Republicans want to pass a stopgap bill, which is essentially a bill that would allow the government to continue on their old budget. But they want to throw a bill in there that requires an ID in order to vote. Now, in my mind, that makes sense. I mean, you should have to prove who you are if you want to vote. But Democrats don't like that. They just want anybody to be able to vote, whether they're legal, illegal, whatever. So there's this big concern right now. And even if the House does pass this bill to continue to fund the government and require a voter ID, it's probably not going to pass the Senate and it most likely will get vetoed by Biden. And so the problem right now is that there's just not an agreement on how to actually continue funding the government. And if they can't come up with an agreement by the end of the month, the government's going to shut down. And that's the issue. So they could pass the bill, but we're running into some issues. House Speaker Johnson just pulled the government funding bill after support for it collapsed among Republicans. And so that news on Wednesday is another thing that's causing stocks to fall. So altogether, the inflation report was good, but core inflation not going down was a concern. The FOMC meeting next week and slowing economy is a concern. And the government funding bill not getting passed is another concern. So we have a lot of things that are pushing stocks down right now and preventing them from rising. Over the next few weeks, we'll have to keep our eyes to see if any of these problems get resolved. We could certainly see a rebound in stocks and a rally if Jerome Powell says some really positive things about the economy next week. We could also see a rally if the government funding bill gets passed. But right now, the markets have a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of concern in the markets and the stock market hates uncertainty. And that's why stocks are falling instead of rising. Now, I wanted to let you know this is the last few days you have to register for a free masterclass that I'm going to be holding on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to sign up and learn how to stop losing money in the market, how to make more money, some of the mistakes that I see a lot of people making and just go in and show you what I learned working at Merrill Lynch and Morgan Stanley, how investment bankers actually trade that is so different from retail traders to help you guys fix a lot of the mistakes that I see people making. Uh, just go sign up for that free masterclass. I'd love to have you in there. The link to register for that is the first link in the description below. Just click that first link in the description below and I will see you on Saturday.